Hi everyone, this is Vala from Online Combat Battalion with a very simple tutorial on how to create tasks for your missions. The reason I decided to start this tutorial was when I began making missions or learning how to make missions, many of the uh, resources I found out there assumed that I already had a lot of knowledge or some knowledge about how to create tasks and missions and how to use the Eden editor built into the game. This tutorial doesn't make those assumptions at all and assumes that you know nothing at all about creating missions or tasks uh, and to that end I've made this as simple as possible so you can get started on making your own missions and tasks that uh, fire from one to the other within your missions. Okay, so we've placed our playable unit on the map. There he is. We want to create a task for him. So in systems, in the editor, we go to Intel and t create task. So we'll place the task down and double click. And this is the creation of the task. What we want to do is have the owner as, let's make it blue four, or you could make it all playable units. It's really up to you. For this demonstration, we'll use blue four. We'll put the task ID in as task one. And we'll just have the title of the task as move and the description as move here. We're going to set that task as assigned because we're going to use a trigger to assign that task to our players. So we'll place down a trigger and we'll have the trigger, I'll just set it at 3 meters by 3 meters by 3 meters high so we can see over it and it's not too big. And we'll set the activation type as blue four, present, and click on OK. Now we need to sync this trigger to the task module. Simple. What we now need to do is place down a another module in Intel called set task state. So we'll place set task state down, open that, and we'll create the set task state as succeeded, and click OK. We now sync the set task state to the task, and we need one more trigger to set the task state as succeeded. So we go back to triggers, grab another one, just quickly change the size. You can obviously have the size of the trigger any size you like, or ellipse or rectangle. And we need an activation for this trigger to be blue four present. Now because this trigger is also going to fire the next task for us, we need to give this trigger a variable name. We'll call it task one complete click OK. Now this trigger that's going to succeed the task needs to be synced to the set task state. And because the task will have a marker on the map which will show the troops where they need to go, we'll move this trigger onto that marker so when they cross onto that marker it will complete the task as succeeded. So our trigger's down, although we can't see it. We run into the trigger, and it assigns the first task as move. And you can see our task module location there, which has a marker at 11 meters. So when we run into that trigger, it should, there we go, task completed move. So that is our first task, and how it is succeeded. Now let's get on to how to create the second task. Okay, so let's create our second task. So back in Systems, Intel, Create Task, place it down, open the task, set the owner as Blue 4, task ID as task 2, or whatever you like. We'll call it Move again, and task description, you can enter in there whatever you like. So Move to this location. Remember we need to set the task as assigned. 
and click OK. Now to assign this task, we need a trigger that's related to the completion trigger for the first task. So we go back to triggers and we can select the first trigger here because this does not need to be any particular size. For this we need no activation at all and in the bottom here where it's got condition we need to put the name of the first trigger or the trigger that completes the first task. That trigger is called task1 underscore complete. So in the trigger that assigns the new task we type trigger activated task1 complete semicolon and click OK. We now sync that trigger to the new task. Now to complete the second task again in systems Intel we need a set task state which we'll place down. In the set task state we'll select the state as succeeded. OK then we'll sync the set task state to the task and remember to, can, to activate the set task state we need another trigger. So we'll grab another trigger, place that down. Again I'll just quickly edit the size. And we want activation to be any player present. OK. And remember to complete the second task we need the trigger that completes it synced to the set task state. And again remember the create task module is where the marker will appear for players to go to. So move that trigger onto that marker and then we should have our first task once complete that activates the second task. If you want to have a delay between tasks which is highly recommended. Open the trigger that activates the second task and at the bottom you can put in a delay in seconds for how long you want the task to take. It has three values the minimum, the middle and the max so at some stage between the max and the minimum that new trigger will fire to activate the second task. Now we'll test that out to see how that looks. So we have our trigger, we're going to run through the first trigger to activate the first task. Task assigned move 11 meters away. We'll now run into the next trigger which is task completed move and there'll be delay of some maybe 7 to 10 seconds before the next task is assigned which is move again. Now we move into there and the task has been completed. Now we'll do something different than a move task just to continue to give you some more practice on how to create tasks that uh, fire one after the other based on triggers. So again systems create task, place the task down, we'll call it task 3 in task ID. We'll set the owner as all playable units and the task will be kill bill and the task description kill bill and we'll set that as assigned. Okay. Now we need a trigger to activate that task. And again, we need to use the variable name of this task, or this trigger, sorry, which we didn't name before. We'll call it task2 underscore complete. OK. And we need to use trigger activated task 
to complete semicolon OK and sync this trigger to the task. We need a set task state again in systems Intel set task state. We'll place that down. We'll have that set as succeeded. Now for our trigger to complete the third task, we'll do something a little bit different. We'll place a trigger down and we'll also place a unit down. Let's assign the unit a variable name of Bill. OK. Now let's sync the set task state to the task and the trigger to the set task state. Now in the trigger condition, we want to put exclamation mark alive bill. So whilst bill is alive, that task is not completed. But once bill is dead, the task will complete. Let's see how that works. Okay, we can see Bill off in the distance there, but we're going to go through our first trigger, which will assign our first task, which is move. We move into the next trigger, donated by the marker, and we've completed our move. Our next task should fire in 7 to 10 seconds, or thereabouts, which is another move task. Move again, and we move into or to the next marker and we'll activate the trigger. Our next task is now assigned and that task is to kill Bill. So Bill, good night. Our task completed. Kill Bill. Now if we don't want to have a human target we can actually take him out. Let's put a car and we'll make it a fuel truck place that down and we'll take the crew out of it so it doesn't have a driver and we'll give the truck a variable name of truck click OK and we can change this trigger to alive Okay, again let's see how all this works. Now if you want to complete your mission with the uh, notification to all that the mission has been completed, what you can do is if you want the final task to be the destruction of the truck as the completion of the mission, we'll just change the name of the task to kill truck rather than it having a set task state for completion we can simply take that out and have in systems scenario flow end scenario place that down and sync this trigger which is to kill the truck to the end scenario. In the end scenario you can have mission completed, mission failed etc or you can have completed or failed and click OK. Now we'll see how that works. OK now this is our second task which we've just completed and we've had the task assigned to kill the truck. So we're going to place down our explosive charge and this should complete the mission. Obviously you can put in as many tasks as you like in various locations all over the place, it doesn't really matter. And let's touch off that bomb and it should complete the scenario. And now we have mission completed. I hope this tutorial has been 
easy to follow and you've gotten something out of it. If you enjoyed it or you have anything you want to ask, please mention uh, that in the comments below. And if this has been helpful, please give us a like and a subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.